Oh yeah, um, 17 days post-op. Um, feeling like I've turned a bit of a corner, um, uh, with probably with sleep being the, the biggest determinant in that. Um, I've um, last last three nights I've had um, six and seven uh, and seven hours again, like so that that's made a, a massive difference. Uh, the the cause behind that has been the improvement in my breathing. Uh, if you probably noticed back through the, the previous blogs, uh, I had like a hiccup, uh, or more accurately, a, a, a diaphragmatic spasm. Um, that um, went back to, to well, pre-op, and it was the very first symptom of the, of the brain hemorrhage, uh, which was about a week before the, um, uh, the symptoms became acute. I remember I'd, I'd, I'd got the train back home, I was walking through the station and I just had this, what, what seemed like a, a bizarre hiccup. A hiccup's like, like a nice generalised term to convey it, although it's a, a different pathology totally. Like uh, As I say, it's a diaphragmatic spasm um, and it, it can present qu quite severely, um, both um, uh, pre-op and then post-op after the dexamethasone was, was coming down. Uh, it, would, it would get really severe where diaphragm would spasm and then you, you'd get a reciprocal laryngeal spasm as well. Um, but like I say, a week before the, the hemorrhage, um, I had this really odd um, hiccup just, just came from nowhere and then but it also went back to nowhere as well. But it, it was um, st you know, strange enough that, that it registered, like you know what I mean? Uh, I don't particularly believe in coincidences with that sort of thing. Um, and then I had a couple more incidents of, of that in the, the week thereafter, leading up to the um, the, the Friday of the acute uh, symptoms where I, I just fell off a cliff, um, where the two previous days I'd been feeling extremely tired. Um, but then on that Friday morning, um, it was... Uh, got up seemingly fine, um, fairly, you know, got up about half six, uh, answered for a delivery at the house around about seven o'clock. Um, and then thereafter it was, um, you know, I had to go and lie down, it was double vision, couldn't walk, um, massively foggy, you know, a bit like the hangover from hell without having had a bevy. Um, um, the, the hiccups, etc. Um, the symptoms thereafter uh, particularly loss of sensation and a, a lot of the uh, coordination impacts um, seem to be uh, either explicitly or certainly heavily weighted towards the, the left hand side um, I noticed that pre-op when I'd started trying to get back to walking um, I would I'd walk like the the leaning tower of Pisa over to the left which seemed to be like a, a, a compensation for uh, reduced power and control on wrong, leaning over to the right. Um, noticeably sort of arching from the, almost like, like a, a massive scoliosis arching over from the, the hips. Um, you know, so the, the, the shoulders were, um, you know, almost like on a 45 degree angle and the head coming off as well. Uh, it, was, it was like he was trying to compensate for a lack of power and coordination on the left hand side. Uh, something with respect to more isolated testing seemed to be uh, on and around the, the left hip, uh, glute, me glute med in particular. Um, now, I, um, well, that that just that that just was uh, what was presenting uh, by. Uh, it was two weeks after the initial symptoms that I had the op uh, and on the day leading up to the op and in the morning of the op when I, I did walk then it felt to me that I was, I was back central there or thereabouts um, didn't have any video to record that so who knows um, uh, after the op everything seemed to be uh, that that left hand side deficit seemed to be in there well not removed <laughs> Um, it was equalised between the, the both sides. Um, the the flavour or nature of the deficits 
changed, i.e. somewhere where a new deficit, somewhere a, a difference on a on the theme of before, not necessarily better or worse, just just different. It's a loss of sensation, for instance. Um, and so it, 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 it all seemed to be in tandem. Uh, in fact, and, and still today, some of the loss of sensation in my right hand is worse than in my uh, in my left. Um, I had loss of sensation um, in my feet, particularly underneath the the feet. Um, and take it with however many grains of sand you wish, grains of sand, grains of salt you wish. Um, the the lack of sensation was most um, uh, salient on. The, the reflexology lines of the diaphragm and the, and the lungs um, and the improvement in that uh, altered sensation um, I seem to mirror the improvement with uh, my breathing um, but there you go that's just you know it's a truthful observation take from it what you will um, I noticed from the um, the 14 day walking uh, marker that there was again a hint of that um, leaning over to the right. Uh, I do feel that sort of left-hand side weakness a little as well. Um, I think watching that marker video was um, highlighted or maybe brought me attention to it. Um, I'm I'm not one for I'm not a great believer in uh, a, a body part approach to either training and or rehabilitation. Um, I sort of like trying to, you know, lay all of the blame on a particular muscle. Um, I mean, even if you wanted to go down to that that level, uh, the question then is, what's causing that muscle to to misbehave? Is it um, a flaw in a in another muscle, or more likely another uh, system, another combination of muscles? Um, but I, I am gonna have a little look at uh, the left glute med. It appears that the hip is kicking out a little. Um, I'll do some uh, TheraBand exercises on um, on that um, and also see if I can do some uh, some hip, um, hip uh, both performance and mobility exercises to see if I can uh, have any impact on that. Um, double vision is uh, still there to a point particularly when I'm trying to concentrate on something uh, uh, closer uh, and requires a, uh, a tighter focus of the eyes. Um, still could uh, look after my hair a little bit better and stop making videos with, uh, with a mad hairdo. Um, but there you go, other things I can focus on maybe. Um, uh, think anything else? Where are the comments? Probably is. I think loads of things isolated and think, oh, I need to get that in the, the blog and people might find that useful or whatever. Um, but um, not I can think of at the minute. So um, I'll, um, well, maybe see you tomorrow or fairly soon. I'm, I'm going to look to um, do a, a, another blog, go more detail into the overall philosophy behind um, my, my rehab program. And also go individually into each of the exercises um, that I'm using for that. Um, well, we'll, we'll see how we go. All right, to for now.